The solid support from the bench this season has been huge for the Lakers. Through seven games, here's how they rank in the league. They are scoring 41 points a game, sixth most in the NBA. Their 48% shooting from the field leads the league and are fifth with nearly 20 rebounds per game. The bench is taking on an identity of its own. Their energy is infectious, so, you know, them coming off the bench with that energy and, and that effort just translates to the rest of us. Um, Trez is very active, you know, not only with the scoring, but his uh, offensive rebound and his defensive uh, uh, approach as well. Um, you know, giving up size and giving up pounds to uh, Valanciunas, but I thought he handled his own and, and did a hell of a job. Um, and, and same with Wes, you know, Wes coming in and just giving that defensive presence, um, that energy, and also knocking down a couple shots. That was a big time for our team. Trez does a great job of uh, you know, kind of saying that bigger role and get it to that pocket. Uh, the second unit uh, playing, you know, with uh, kind of four shooters around him with uh, Brown with the ball. Um, the, the, the floor is wide open and he does a great job of getting in that pocket and create those shots. And when he doesn't get it, he's crashing on the rebounds. Uh, so, you know, he's, he's, he's very special, very good at what he does. Um, and, uh, and yeah, it's, it's great to have him. Do you need, do you need players like that to kind of, Get through the season, just energy guys to, to kind of just over. Of energy guy. I mean, he has a lot of energy, but he's a very talented player. Uh, he does things, um, you know, catching the ball, taking charges, offensive rebounds, finishing around the rim, one on one. I mean, he's just just not that energy guy. He, he, he's very talented as well. I mean, honestly, really, it's just being able to just play my game um, and just not being, you know, kind of told and set on, you know, it's got to be this, this, or this. And, you know, it's kind of been. The system that I kind of been playing in for a while, you know, it's got to be threes, layups, or you know, basically free throws. But that's not like that over here. Um, you know, they play to the style of everybody game, and you know, we're not looking at you know anybody as you know you have to do this, you have to do that, man. We play basketball over here. Um, it's a free flowing game. Nobody tries to go outside of their self, and I think that's what the the best thing about being over here um, on this team and being with these guys because everybody does you know, what they already do well. Don't nobody try to go out there and try to prove that they do something, you know, that people haven't seen. Uh, interesting, powerful mm. comments there. BT, I want to start with you from Montrez. How do you digest that? You know, I watched him play when I covered the Clippers. And the one thing I know about him is that he works hard. But I think part of it, that conversation was the Clippers had a different style of play than what the Lakers have, obviously. The Lakers have two of the best players in the league. Let's not forget that, and Brian James and AD. But Trez's numbers really are slightly down. He's averaging four points a game versus 18 with the Clippers. His minutes are a little bit down, but his percentage of shooting the ball is higher. So he's more efficient with this team. And I think, you know, he just, in some ways, guys want to prove to the team that didn't want them, that they're better, and they made a mistake. So some of that is just a little thing, you know, look, I got some swag, I'm, I'm tough. You guys miss me, I know you miss me, you won't say it. And here, take this conversation back with you. It doesn't really matter to me a whole lot. Just go out there and play the game, but it's the new NBA, players talk that stuff, and it's kind of fun. That stuff, yes. I think, uh, yourself. <laughs> I think Montrez is basically just saying, hey, I'm enjoying kind of the free-flowing nature of Frank Vogel and his staff. They're, they're not saying, hey, you have to set this screen here. Uh, you know, you go down to the post and up to, up to the elbow and this and that. They're like, just do what you do best. Just get rebounds. Uh, be active around the, the basket, uh, you know, as far as like layups and, and dunks and alley-oops. And I'm sure it's a little bit more technical than that, but it sounds like he's really feeling free to be himself. Even though, as BT said, the numbers are down a little bit. That's what happens when you play alongside two very good uh, big men as far as Anthony Davis. And I'm sure LeBron James will call him a big man, too. Look, Mark didn't have to say what he said last night about Montrez Harrell, but he did, and I'm glad he did. He's not just an energy guy. It's something we see uh, right away when you watch him play the game. But there is a lot of talent there, and I think the reason why he's been able to be successful, BT, is, as you mentioned, he's playing alongside two of the best in the game right now, but he's still finding ways. I mean, he can go out and get a double-double without a play being called for him. How valuable is that? Look, there was one highlight we ran there where he was shooting the little jump hook from about eight feet away. You didn't see that much last season. He was mostly a pick and roll guy with his boy. They did that the best in the league, but now he's expanded his game. So he's telling everyone in the league that I can do more than just pick and roll, get rebounds and dunk the basketball. I can rebound the ball. I can also take charges on defense. I mean, Trez is a very unique player because they, he's listed at 6'8", 
Is he really six foot eight, Mike Bresenhan? I'm thinking more <laughs> six seven at the tallest. But his motor is as high as anyone I've seen in a very long time. Yeah, BT, he had a little bit more of an offseason than anyone on the Lakers. Obviously, the Clippers were done in the second round. And it's pretty apparent to me that he worked on some stuff. We saw a little bit in the preseason when he was starting to hit like, you know, 15, 16 footers along the baseline. As BT said, he had a nice little, uh, almost like a floater. Mm -hmm. The other day, I'm like, oh, I don't think I've seen that in his game uh, that often. But Montrez, you know, he, he just feels very comfortable in this system. Um, I, think the, I think he probably appreciated and enjoyed the fact that the Lakers went after him right away. Like, he was their number one priority as a free agent with the, with the money, the limited money that they had to, to spend. And I'm sure he really appreciated that, too. Hey, it always feels good to be wanted. All right. Uh, from Montrez to the next guy on the bench who's really starting to come into his own, uh, Wes Matthews. Guys, he's been fun to watch. Yeah. Another thing he told us last night at BT on that Zoom interview post game. Uh, was that, and I loved this, as we are watching his offense come to fruition, it's about the defensive end of the floor that engages him and ignites him first. I mean, to have a guy say that and then to have the success we're seeing from him on the offensive end, that's a good ingredient for success. But that is great. That, like, that was a Zoom that you and I were on and Mike Brotherhand was not on because <laughs> you and I were working very hard to give the fans what they wanted. <laughs> Of Wesley Matthews, he struggled in the beginning of the year, could not make a shot to save his life, but he got better at it, he kept working at it. I mean, he went six for six against San Antonio down there. He didn't score the second time, but then he got to Memphis, he made more threes. I mean, and as he told us, you and I on that Zoom, that just you and I were on, and I Bresenhan was not on, Ali, that defense is number one. And you and I both heard that on that Zoom that Mike Bresenhan was not on. Well, I'm really glad to hear you guys oh, are working louder. so hard uh, on these Zoom chats. I mean, you must have to really, you know, get your computer up and running. We as do. We know with BTS, Our lights. As we know, BTS not really his strong suit, being a, a computer guy in the IT department. But, um, yeah, everything BT said is absolutely correct. And, and I actually was in the Zoom uh, chat. Uh, the, the night that uh, Wesley was six for six from three point range. And I talked about this on the pregame show yesterday. I said, hey, that's that's pretty impressive. You took six shots all from three point range and you made all six. And he was like, yeah. So is there a question there? You know, yeah. he, he was kind of like, yeah, I expect to do that. I expect to be perfect every time I get to the floor. No one does that. But if he does six for six and then follows it up with four for six like he did last night, that's not a bad run right there. BT, I like to talk as much as you do, but I have to, I have to support my guy. He was in the studio working <laughs> Thank you. while we were on the Zooms last <laughs> night, okay? Yeah, hope you Let's enjoyed not your time. like he wasn't doing anything. <laughs> you and I were on the Zoom with Wesley Matthews. Mike Buzzleyhan was not. Facts. When we return, <laughs> hey, the purple and gold here. are still...